For this project, I was tasked with finding the perfect gear for a vlog. A vlog that I wouldn't be shooting. Let's see if I have auto focus on here. For a person who's never shot a vlog before. All right. And a person whose only rule on set is don't touch that gear. Dropped my camera in the sand when I ran from the water. <laughs> that person is the one and only Jonathan Frazier. A sheep, a drum, and a snake go rolling down a hill. But um. <laughs> Hey filmmakers, Jonathan with Soundstripe here. Today we're gonna hit the road, we're gonna figure out what it takes to make a good travel vlog. Or a not so good one. Let's find out. Five years ago, I helped drive my friend Dennis from Nashville, Tennessee to Santa Cruz, California because his family was moving out there. A couple months ago, he called me up and said, hey, we're moving again, this time from Santa Cruz to Atlanta, Georgia. You want to come? Naturally, I said, heck yes. But this time we're going to do a little different because we're going to bring you along for the ride. You know the drill. If you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, turn on those notifications, and like this video. Oh, and stick around, because at the end of this, we're gonna have a chance for you to win a year's worth of free Soundstripe on us. So in order to make this trip a bit more exciting, if you will, my team decided it would be best if they didn't tell me what gear they were sending me for this little adventure. The Sony a7S III, a couple lenses, a Rode lapel mic, a DJI Ronin SC2, the DJI FPV drone. Uh, and then I also picked up the DJI OM4 and then a little Belkin car mount thing with the new MagSafe, which was a wonderful decision. My biggest takeaway from this whole experience when it came to gear was convenience is king. This right here, with this guy right here, oh. Go with what you're comfortable with and what's convenient. Years ago, I was talking to a photographer friend of mine and he had just been hired by a global shoe company to go and shoot their new release campaign in Fiji. In Fiji, incredible. And he's an incredible photographer. And so we got home and he was sharing with me the final photos that the client had selected. And though they were absolutely beautiful, there's no way I could have told you that they were shot in Fiji. But I learned a lesson that day that I've always lived by. Don't go to Fiji and not shoot Fiji. So for this trip, we took a Southern route from Santa Cruz over to Atlanta. Admittedly, a majority of that is flat based on the time of day we were traveling and the time restrictions we were on. I did not get nearly the footage capturing the landscape the way I would have loved to to help tell this story. So I've worked on a number of documentary projects over the years, but vlogging is a completely different world. So I can tell you with certainty, there were so many moments that I wish I'd been rolling and so much meaningless footage that I captured over a week on the road. 
And what I learned from that, at least for me, and my best advice to you, is to trust your gut. Sure, your gut's not always gonna be right. You got my new visor. But stressing over every decision, whether or not you filmed at the right time or the wrong time, should you be ruling more, should you be ruling less, that's only gonna stress you out. It's gonna make for a miserable trip, probably. And it's gonna come across in the piece, too. At its best, vlogging is about celebrating what makes you uniquely you. Your point of view, the fun you have, the life you live, the heartache you endure, whatever it is. Dennis, he's a sleepy boy. Trust your gut, lean into who you are as a storyteller, and no doubt, that's gonna be your best foot forward. Clearly, I work for Soundstripe, so I'm a bit biased on the power of a good track in a video. But can't we all agree that's pretty universally true, right? Like, music makes the moment. Choosing the right music for your vlog and for life is a highly important task. Imagine what battles would have looked like, like Viking battles, if they would have been like putting their AirPods in and they had like this epic music. That is funny. <laughs> This trip in particular was about two friends who hadn't had the chance to see each other in a while, were going on a road trip and trying to have some fun along the way. At the end of the day, like most storytelling, I could have made a lot of different decisions that would have led to very different outcomes. Maybe I should have used a different piece of gear. Maybe I should have learned the gear earlier. Did you try the voice activation? Turn on. Maybe I should have figured out how to fly that drone. Maybe I should have gotten more landscape stuff. Maybe I should have had Dennis tell more Ukrainian anecdotes. She's afraid. She turns on the light. She's like, what happened? And he says, who? I thought my eyes blew up. <laughs> <laughs> and ultimately, I'm OK with that. Because as much as I wanted to make a really compelling travel vlog, I also wanted to enjoy a week on the road with my friend Dennis. And that I most certainly did. We did it. Let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was. Or maybe you've got a tip for us next time we hit the road. We're gonna pick one person from those comments and we're gonna give them a free year of soundtrack. Thanks for watching. See you next time.